Okay, now today we're going to be looking at two AI power phrases. And we're going to be looking at it through three different categories. One, we're going to be looking at its readability. Two, we're going to be checking out the price. And three, we're going to go check to see if it's going to pass the originality AI detector test. But before we go ahead and do that, I just want to let you know, here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to, to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews, as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash the like button, as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. All right, guys, let's go check it out. Now, the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be grabbing some content from ChatGPT. Now, we know that ChatGPT is always going to get picked up by originality. So we are using something that's actually created by ChatGPT and then turning that into something that hopefully can be rewritten and maybe pass the originality AI test. We'll soon find out. We can also be looking at a paraphrasing tool that everybody's aware of, or at least most people are aware of these days, and it's called Quillbot. And then we're also going to be having a look at another one, which is only a new one out of the market, and it's called Hicks AI Bypass. And what you can do is, it really, when you're first pasting something in here and you do it on the free account like this one, it only allows you to really put in a, a, about 120 words at a time. So the first thing we need to look at is the readability. Now I'll have a look at a couple of the prompts and we'll have a look at what I, what I wrote. Please write one or two tips in only 120 words. Best things to do to grow your YouTube channel. To grow your YouTube channel, focus on creating high quality, engaging content tailored to your target audience. Research trends and keywords to make your videos discoverable. Consistency is key. Establish a regular posting schedule to keep viewers coming back. Engage with your audience by responding to comments and incorporating their feedback into your content. This builds a community around your channel, encouraging shares and increasing visibility. Additionally, utilize YouTube SEO tools by optimizing your YouTube titles, descriptions, and tags with relevant keywords. Collaborate with other YouTubers to tap into new audiences and cross-promote content. Remember, growth takes time and persistence. So be patient and stay committed to your content strategy. So that's what we're going to be putting in. Now we know for a fact, I'll go here and I'll put that straight into originality. It'll come up as AI, 100% AI. I guarantee you that. So I'm just going to paste this straight into here. Wait for it to think of what, what it's doing. It's only got 109 words. That's okay. And, and now let's just hit scan and see what it comes up with. Okay, so as you can see, it's coming up with 100% AI detected. Now, I'm not at all surprised about that. Let's get rid of this. Remove that. And then we'll also remove this. And let's put that content straight into Quillbot. And we'll get Quillbot to paraphrase it. And we'll see whether or not it gets picked up by this particular one. I wanted to choose Quillbot to start off with because I know Quillbot really well. So we'll just go there, paste that in there. And we're going to have Quillbot paraphrase it. And we, we, we want this to, for fluency, but let's make it standard in this particular case. And we'll keep it about here. And we'll let it create the content for us. The reason why I want it standard is because standard is pretty much what most people will be using. And it also changes it up enough to hopefully trick the AI. So let's go and have a look over here. Let's copy that. And we'll see whether or not it picks up on the fact that it's still AI. Now my computer is running a little bit slow. We'll just go there and we'll place that straight into there. It says 117 words. We can only do the minimum of 100 words at a time. So there we go. Now let's scan this and we'll be right back. Okay, so it picked up on the fact that it was 100% AI. That is awesome. Now, let's get rid of this and get rid of this. Now, let's go grab the original text. Let's recopy that. And let's go over to Hicks Bypass. Copy that and go straight to Hicks Bypass and see whether or not it can pass the AI test. Let's go here, put that straight in here. So it says 111 words. Now let's humanize this. 
and see what it does. We'll pause it until it's finished. Okay, so let's have a look over here. To grow your YouTube channel, start by uploading high quality, engaging content. That's good. So let's just copy this. It looks like it reads really well as well. Okay, so it's given me 269 words, which is more than enough to put into originality. Now let's go over here to, con to originality and we'll put that straight in there. Place that word, place that right there. And there we have, okay, so there's more than enough words. Let's just go scan and see what it says. Have a look at this. It says it's 100% original. Zero AI. That is phenomenal. So, so which one do I think is actually going to be better in this case? Well, I personally think that Hicks Bypass completely obliterated Coolbot in this particular test. So I'm giving Hicks Bypass a big tick on this one. Now let's look at the next category. Okay, now in this particular one, we're going to be having a look at the readability of each of them. I think right now I'll start off, we'll have a look at the readability of Coolbot. And then we'll move across to Hicks AI. I won't go into all of Hicks AI because I think it's just probably a little too long for me to read for this particular video. So we'll just start off with just a little bit or maybe half of what's written there. Okay, so in Quillbot it says, in the paraphrase section that's already been done, concentrate on producing interesting, high quality material for your target audience. If you want your YouTube channel to thrive, to improve the discoverability of your movie, what? Look into the trends and keywords. Maintaining a constant publishing schedule is essential to attracting and retaining readers. Yeah, that's true. Interact with your readers by answering their queries and incorporating their suggestions into your writing. We're talking about videos, not writing. This creates a community around your channel, boosting exposure and driving shares. Driving shares? I, I, I guess that makes sense. Make use of YouTube SEO capabilities as well by adding pertinent keywords to the title, description and tags of your video. Work together with other YouTubers to cross promote material and reach new viewers. Okay, that's all right. We call that progress needs patience and perseverance. So maintain your dedication to your content strategy. Yeah, no, that that wasn't great. There, there was a few errors in that. Plus, it didn't read very well. It wasn't really great. Let's have a look at Hicks Bypass and see what it says. Let's see if it at least sticks to the content. To grow your YouTube channel, start by uploading high quality, engaging content geared towards your target audience. That's good. Try to predict what your audience wants to watch and shoot it in a way that will keep your keep their attention. Use Google Trends and other keyword tools to find out what people are searching for right now and create your videos around that. Then set up a regular schedule for upload and stick to it. I think you should say for uploads, stick to it. YouTube is a reliable, direct to consumer platform and long periods without new content can sync your views and your subscribers. When subscribers comment on your video, reply to them, address their stinging criticisms and flattering recommendations. Now that's about as far as I'm gonna go, but what I can read so far, it's sticking to the point, it's actually staying on topic, as opposed to saying writing, it had nothing to do with videos at that particular point. But yeah, Hicks AI is reading a lot better. And from what I can see, it's sticking to the point a heck of a lot better. So in this particular case, what do I think about the readability of Hicks AI compared to Coolbot? Well, in this particular case, Hicks AI gets a big tick from me. All right, let's go check out the next one. Okay, so let's have a look at pricing. We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison between these two. We'll have a look and see which ones might be better. Okay, so over here in Quillbot, 
You look over here, it's $8.33 a month or $99.95 a year, billed every 12 months. And then you also have, this is US dollars, of course. Then you have your semi-annual, which is every six months at $79.95. And you can select that one if you wish to, or $19.95 a month if you want it to go monthly. Now, over here, let's have a look at what the US dollars are in this one, because this is in Australian dollars right now. So let's have a look at what the US dollars are. Okay, so as you can see, it's $49.99 a month over a 12 month period with unlimited words. And basically with everything these guys have, it's gonna be much faster, 100% plagiarism free, 50 languages, built-in AI detector, chat GPT watermark removal. So it does all of that sort of stuff. You also have over here for 50,000 words a month, it's $11.99 per month, billed annually. Now remembering you save 48% on this one, which is substantially more expensive than this one here. And then you also have $6.99 a month, but it only gives you 5,000 words. So they do limit how many words you can actually use here, which is perhaps not great. So the free version, like this one, only uses 125 words per para paraphrase. The free version uses 125 words per paraphrase in Hicks Bypass as well. So that's identical. And it's 500 word requests. So in other words, you can do, you can do that 500 times before it stops you for the rest of the month. It's truly undetectable AI writing bypass all AI detectors, 100% plagiarism free, 50 language, languages supported, and built-in AI detectors. So this has got all of this plus all of this as well. So as you can see, as you go through and have a look at what's here, I think personally, I'm a little bit sad that Hicks AI is so much more expensive. But if you happen to be a student, or you want to have, you've created something using AI and you want to show that it wasn't created by AI, you can pop it into Hicks Bypass and you'll be able to get it through without any issues. Because when you do this, it'll pass each and every single time. And every time I've done it, it's consistently passed the originality AI test. So what's my overall view on this? Well. I personally believe that Hicks AI Bypass is far superior to Quillbot. Now, I've always loved Quillbot. Quillbot's always been one of my favorite AI writers, but of late, its standard has really dropped. I look at the quality of Quillbot lately, and I have to say, its quality is almost as bad as a spin rewriter. But it used to be brilliant, but it seems to have gone down in quality. But when you look at Hicks Bypass, it's really good quality wording. It expands on what you have to say. It gives more information and it writes it like a human. So to be perfectly honest, I think besides the pricing, because unfortunately when it comes to the pricing, Hicks Bypass gets a massive big cross from me. But Quillbot gets a tick on that one. However, I still think Hicks Bypass is the superior piece of equipment, primarily because of what it can do. All right, guys. If you got some value out of this video, how about you smash the like button as well as subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at it, why not consider sharing? Also, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of Hicks AI Bypass as well as Robot. Also to let you know that right here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like. And right here is an image of my head. Now, if you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and bye for now.